again for the WWE title. You never can tell, JR. I think both of them learned a lot about each other in this match. Next time they get in the ring together, you can bet they're both going to have a few new tricks. All right, listen up. You are looking at the new general manager of Raw. I don't believe this. This has to be some kind of sick joke. Mr. McMahon named Triple H Interim GM. That's right. I've decided to sacrifice my in-ring career for a little while in order to give Raw the leadership and direction it needs. Now I know that decision's going to disappoint a lot of you. But it's what's right for business, and I always do what's right for business. For example, although Edge has been named the number one contender for the WWE title, his match last week against the champion left me feeling a little... Nah. So suffice it to say, with all the talent in the back, I think Raw can do better than that. And Edge actually won't be going to Backlash to compete for the WWE title. Well, if Edge is out, who's our number one contender then? Over the next few weeks, I'm going to conduct an exhaustive search to find the most worthy contender. And that search starts tonight, when the champion faces five top Raw contenders in a non-title, over-the-top rope battle royal. Seriously, I'm sure you really impressed all these people out here tonight. But when you're in a position like mine, part of the job description is to be decisive and make tough decisions. Although I appreciate you busting your ass out here tonight, I also have to live up to my responsibilities as interim GM. And that means I can't just flip-flop on a decision I made a few short weeks ago. So I'm afraid you're still not number one contender material and you're not going to get a title shot at Backlash. Oh, what a load of... What the hell does the game have against Edge? Oh, my gosh! Edge has lost it! Can y'all think Edge could beat our interim general manager on the sandwich right about now and have no regrets at all? And who could blame him? Here we go! Triple H is going to reveal the number one contender for the WWE title. Well, he took a straight time about it. Backlash is this Sunday. As you've all witnessed... I've spent the last few weeks conducting an exhaustive search for the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash. In that time, I've examined the entire Raw roster from top to bottom 
backwards and forwards, over and over. Oh, get to the point already, Shh. would you? The general manager's talking. And after much soul searching and reflection, I've found just three letters that could possibly belong on that marquee. H, H, H. You've got to be kidding me. He's not serious. So for the sake of Raw, I'm gonna pull double duty this Sunday and serve as both general manager and the number one contender for the WWE title. I'm sure even a bunch of inbreds like yourself noticed that there was some questionable officiating during the WWE title match at Backlash yesterday. As the general manager of Raw, I'm going to see to it that... Oh my gosh! It's Mr. McMahon! He must be here to congratulate Triple H. I'm not so sure about that, King. He doesn't look particularly happy. Hey, Vince. How was your vacation? When did... Let's cut the crap, Hunter. You've been given great power as the interim general manager of Raw, but clearly you haven't used it responsibly. Whoa, whoa, Vince. All Instead right. of featuring Raw superstars like Edge and Kane in the WWE title match at Backlash, you chose to satisfy your own ego and put yourself in the match. Listen. Vince, you got it all wrong. No, you listen to me. Number one, you are hereby removed as Raw's interim general manager. And number two, I'm about five seconds away from saying the two words all these people here tonight and those watching at home want to hear. So you've got that long to get the hell out of my ring before you're the one who's going on vacation. And by God, I mean a permanent one. This match is over, but it looks like Angle and Kane are done with the champion. I can't say I'm surprised, JR. The champion has a huge target on his back. Yeah. Now he's in there with two of Raw's biggest guns. Chair shot for Angle. And one for Kane. Make it two. Two shots for that steel chair. And the big red monster Kane is gone. Edge, what you did last week was not what I had in mind when I lifted the suspension that Triple H placed on you. But then again, I have to admit, you did make an impact, and making an impact is what Raw is all about. Therefore, since you had already earned a WWE Championship match prior to Triple H's unfortunate tenure as general manager, I'm naming you the number one contender for the title at Vengeance. Well, it's about time. I must say, you've got a strange idea of gratitude. Gratitude? What the hell do I have to be grateful for? I should already be the WWE Champion by now. Well, you could be grateful for the fact that Kane and Kurt Angle haven't gotten their hands on you for what you did to them last week. But I think that's about to change. I'm putting you and the WWE Champion in a tag team match against them for tonight's main event. Whatever. 
as long as I've got my title shot. Unsurprisingly, Edge's attitude has gotten him into trouble again. Well, you know the rated R superstar Edge. He doesn't back down from anyone, not even Mr. McMahon himself. What the hell are you doing out here? I'm keeping you from making a very serious and expensive mistake is what I'm doing. You see, back when I was Raw's general manager, I had a little contract drawn up. It guarantees me a rematch for the WWE title at Vengeance. So you can make your little title match if you want, but I've got an army of lawyers waiting to sue you for everything you've got if you do. Now come on, Hunter. You know we don't settle things with lawyers around here. If you want that championship match, you can earn it tonight in a triple threat match against these two superstars. If the champion wins, whoever doesn't lose goes to vengeance. If the champion loses, whoever beats him goes to vengeance. Got it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why should I risk my number one contendership? What do I get out of this deal? How about the winner also gets his choice of match type at vengeance? All right, then it's settled. Let's get this match started. Welcome to Raw, live from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Jim Ross with Jerry the King Lawler. I know I say this a lot, JR, but I think tonight's show is going to be the... Rumor Center for another outstanding performance by the WWE Champion heading in the bench. No matter the odds, he just keeps on rolling. And now that we know who his opponent will be, there's just one question left to answer. That's right. He gets to choose what type of title match he'll have this Sunday. I have to admit, things are certainly looking good for the champ. the man who came in wearing. 